Tropical Cyclone UC has absolutely lit up the eastern seaboard of Australia, and it's no surprise that 2012 world champ Joel Parkinson scored the wave of the day at Snapper Rocks. Further north, the Noosa Points also turned on where local standout Harrison Roach scored some bombs and some burnings at the boiling pot. But some of the thickest waves of this swell were just too much to handle for some surfers. Laura Enover has a new film project titled Undone, and we just happen to have a sneak peek. Laura shares her story of how she rose from Nairby and Grom to world tour competitor to riding some of the most dangerous waves on the planet. You can watch it exclusively right now on worldsurfleague.com. With the surf pumping at Fernando de Naranja today, Felipe Toledo continues his role at the Oi Hang Loose Pro Contest, scoring himself a nine point ride. Recent Vulcan Pipe Pro winner Wiggly Dantas also won his heat, while Hawaii's Mason Ho got himself in on the action, pushing scores into the excellent range. We're 16 heats away from crowning our event winner. So who's gonna take this thing out? Tell us in the comments below. And before we go, we gotta say a big happy birthday to the one and only Goofy Footed Sensation Championship Tour competitor, one of our favorite people on the planet, Caroline Marks. Happy birthday. The inaugural WSL Challenger Series kicks off next month in Australia. The Sydney Surf Pro will be getting underway on March 9th. With 10,000 qualifying series points at stake, it's a huge opportunity for QS competitors to get a jump on 2020. After that wraps, the next Challenger Series event will be the Corona Piha Pro on March 16th. So far, Kelly Slater and Bethany Hamilton have committed to surfing in this event. Two huge QS contests in two weeks, 20,000 points on the table. It's game on for the Challenger Series. Footage from Billy Kemper, Luke Davis, and Koa Smith's latest strike mission to the Atlantic just keeps on rolling in. The trio scored a reeling right-hander. It was a full-on barrel fest. Stay tuned for the full cut coming soon from WSL Studios. All right, we're down to the business end at the Oi Hang Loose Pro Contest. Felipe Toledo's high scoring run came to an end against powerhouse Wesley Dantas, who will now go toe to toe with his brother Wiggly in the semis. We're only three heats away from a winner. So stay tuned. Check out worldsurfleague.com for all the updates. Oh, yeah. ah. And finally, for all of our friends in Australia, we've got some good news for you. This year, the WSL will be broadcasting live contests and highlight shows across the Seven Network and their online streaming platform, Seven Plus. So get ready. You can tune in to all the action live. 2020 is going to be an epic year. Well, it's a special day in Hawaii today. February 13th will forever be known as Andy Irons Day. This is a day that's officially recognized on the islands to celebrate the life and accomplishments of the three-time world champ from Hanalei, Hawaii. Nobody ever surfed like Andy and nobody ever will. Truly one of the greats of our sport. Felipe Toledo continues to dominate at the Oi Hang Loose Pro Contest, Brazil's first qualifying series 5000 of the year at Fernando de Naranja. We've seen some fun surf moving through and Toledo is the top seed and he's taking full advantage. Next call is tomorrow, 7 a.m. local time. You can check out worldsurfleague.com for updates.
Well, the Atlantic Ocean has been absolutely pumping. We've got a little something special cooking up with the likes of Billy Kemper, Koa Smith, and Luke Davis. These three recently made a strike mission and absolutely scored kegging barrels. Here's a sneak peek of what's to come from this collab between this crew and WSL Studios. And lastly, we want to say a big happy birthday to 2015 world champ Adriana de Souza, who turns 33 today. Happy birthday, ADS. All in. All in. We look at a running right for Italo Ferreira as we have a full rotation <laughs> already thrown down by oh Italo. My goodness. Stomping crazy airs, making impossible sections, and doing it all with a huge smile on his face. It could only be Italo Ferreira, your 2019 world champ. For all the fans, we've just dropped the very best of Italo Ferreira, a greatest hits edit available now on the World Surf League YouTube page. You don't want to miss this one. Moroccan Ramsey Bukhayam has claimed the Oi Hang Loose Pro at Fernando de Noronha. Defeating Wesley Dantes in the final is his fourth career qualifying series win and moves him up to number two on the QS rankings. Up next, the QS moves to land down under for the start of the Australian leg. Hi Lenny, just sat down for a chat with the WSL's Dave Prodan on the lineup. They go deep on the fear and consequences of big wave barrels, the insane level of talent on the CT, and why Taco Bell is his rocket fuel. Listen to the full conversation at worldsurfleague.com or wherever you get your podcasts. Rare sandbar just came and went at Ehukai Beach Park and the whole, whole family was there to take advantage. Mason busted out his Tommy Peterson fireball fish for the special occasion and it was like a Gold Coast point break on the North Shore. Check out Mason, Coco, Pops, and even the goat now on Mason's YouTube. Like right now. Finally, congratulations to the North Shore Board Riders Club who have taken out the nudie Australian Board Riders battle. North Shelley and North Narbeen finished second and third respectively. Congrats, guys. It was a monumental day in Portugal as the Nazare Toe Surfing Challenge presented by Jogos Santa Casa went off in 50 to 60 foot surf. Featuring 19 of the most elite big wave surfers from around the globe, they battled it out in a six hour no elimination expression session in a new format where winners were judged by their fellow competitors at an athlete dinner afterwards. The rides of the day went to Kai Lenny and Justine Dupont. The Best Team Award went to the Young Bulls, comprised of Lenny and Lucas Chombo Chianca. And finally, the Well-Earned Commitment Award went to the badass, heroic, and hardworking water safety team. For a full replay, the results, and all the highlights, go to worldsurfleague.com. Today, Portuguese surfer Alex Botello was involved in a heavy incident in the wipeout zone at Nazare. After being rescued by the water safety team, he was rushed to a nearby hospital. Alex is currently in stable condition, conscious, and continuing to undergo observation. It was a serious day of surfing at Nazare, and we are wishing Alex complete recovery. Well, it's a big day for surf birthdays today. The GOAT, Kelly Slater, turns 48. We also want to say happy birthday to the one and only Jordy Smith, who we can call the GOATSVA. Greatest of all time from South Africa? That works for us. 
Happy birthday to both of you rippers. Hopefully you're out there getting some birthday tubes. All the